What's going on guys, Zio here, and I'll be showing you how to get Wireframe on IW5 as well as Mythic Tool. Um, I know this works on IW4, I'm not sure about any other cards. Anyways, I found this uh, from this guy on Twitter. I'm not sure if he's the founder or not, but I'm just going to credit him. So the first thing you need to do is uh, load up a game, and then when you open up Cheat Engine, I'm going to be using an RDP. You can use uh, the Cheat Engine just regularly. I'm going to connect to the process. Yours should be under Applications, but my process is going to be under uh, Processes because I am using an RDP. Um, switch this to a string and I'm going to search for the string for the bears. It's going to be MTL underscore uh, weapon underscore uh, M82 for the bear. Uh, the base for the weapon is going to be uh, the fourth one down from my experience. And then you will browse my region and scroll down to see color tint and find that X right there. Just to verify, it is the fourth one down. This is the right address. I'm going to change it back to the default value, which was 58. And I'm going to add this address to the list. I'm going to say explorer bear 20. And I'm going to right click it and generate a pointer map. And the reason I'm going to make a pointer map is because you see these addresses are black, which means they're dynamic. So most of the time, this means that um, whenever you reload the game, it's not going to be the same address. It's going to change. So I'm going to make a new folder for all these skins. I'm going to name it IW5. And inside that folder, I'm going to say explorer bear 20. As that's scanning, I'm going to find the uh, MSR as well. Now the MSR is MTL underscore weapon underscore Remington underscore MSR. And from my experience, it's the third one down. So I'm going to browse this memory again, and then I'm going to find the color tint again. And I'm going to find the X. Do FF, and as you see, this is the right address as well. So I'm typing 58 to the default value, as address to the list, and name it uh, X for MSR. Okay. And I'm also going to generate a point map for this one as well. And I'm going to name it X4 MSR. Now while these are doing uh, loading and searching and stuff, uh, I'm open up Visual Studio. Create a new project. All right, and then we're gonna load uh, Windows Form app and .NET Framework. You can name this whatever you want to name it to you. I'm just going to name it NW3 for simplicity. Alright, the first thing I'm going to do is go to the back color and change it to something darker than white because that's just fucking eye blinding. Um, you're going to right click here and go to manage new get packages. And you're going to browse. I'm pretty sure this game is a 32 bit game, but 64 works on uh, NW3, so I'm just going to use 64. So type in memory 64 and what the hell? There we go. It's going by new age. And we're just gonna click install. Click OK. I'm gonna go to properties real quick. And go to build. Fucking hell. I'm gonna go to build. I'm gonna go to x64 and I'm gonna allow unsafe code. Move this out the way. Alright. So now we, make, we need to make a reference to what we just downloaded, so I'm going to say using memory, and to make it shorter, I'm going to say mem, m equals new mem, okay? And so that, what, that, what that does allows us to type m dot instead of saying memory dot, and now we can say m dot open process, and then the process name, which was plutonium dash bootstrapper dash 132.exe, and we added a semicolon right here. Now you find a process name from looking right here. All right. So now whenever we load the tool on form load, it will connect to the process and we need to make a checkbox. And I'm going to show you how to uh, use a checkbox for only the Barrett. And I'm going to show you how to do uh, one other thing with only Barrett. Then I'm going to show you something to do with multiple things. Okay. So we're going to say if, and then we're going to uh, say checkbox. I did not mean to build it. So if checkbox one dot uh, checked is true, we're going to say execute this code, and then we're going to say else. So when it's deselected, it's going to execute this code, and the code is going to be m dot write memory. This is going to write in the bytes to the game. This is the address. So inside this quotation marks is going to be the address. Um, this is the type. So bytes, float, int, etc. But I know it's going to be bytes. And then inside this is going to be the bytes. 
we're gonna copy that and add it here and let's see if our scan's done it is not so we're just gonna keep on coding okay um so i'm gonna show you how to do it with the text box as well there's another text box here it's a little bit bigger then i'm gonna add a label to the text box all right and i'm also gonna get timer i'm gonna set the timer to true and i'm set it to 500 okay and i'm gonna say a label one dot text equals and it's gonna be blank for right now actually no it's gonna we're gonna say int plus m dot read int and then the uh, address of the int and close that let's see if it's done now okay now All right, we're just gonna keep on coding for the time being. For this, we're gonna say m dot write memory. It's gonna be address of. It's gonna be an int now. And then we're gonna say convert dot to string. Uh, text box one dot text. All right. So what this just allows us to do uh, from the cyber is going to grab the int value. And it's going to rename this label to the int and then or in to int and then it's going to show us the int okay and in this uh what it's going to do is we're going to be able to type our custom int into there and as we're typing it's going to automatically send it to the game and this right here it's going to say if this button is checked or just if this checkbox is checked it's going to write uh, these bytes uh to this address and then it's going to say if it's unchecked it's going to write these bytes to this address Looks like it is done. So what we're gonna do is restart our game now. All right, cool. So now we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna reconnect to the process here. Click yes. And now we search for the MSR again. Remember it was the third one down. So we're gonna browse. And we're gonna find the X again. So color tint. And then here's the X right here. As address to the list. And we're gonna say uh, X for MSR 2. Okay. And then we're also gonna generate another pointer map. And we're gonna say X for MSR 2. Then we're going to uh, find the uh, the Baird, so we're going to say M82. Go. Alright, and then we're going to add the fourth one. And then we're going to find the X again. As address to the list. I'm going to say um, X for B2. Okay. And then we're going to generate another pointer map. And say X for B2. While it's doing that, I'm going to set up some more code for our combo box. So we're going to add two combo boxes here. One's going to be for the address, and then one's going to be for the, uh, the what's it called? Like if you want dark, or if you want wireframe, or if you want normal. So we're going to name this um, gun address, I guess. And then we're going to name this gun, I guess. Doesn't really matter. Name whatever you want to name it. Um... All right, so what we need to do is add a string here. So we're going to say string uh, addy and string on uh, gun type. Or actually, we're going to say string gun. Now we're going to say private void uh, address. I'm going to say if checkbox, or not checkbox, if combo box one dot text equals and then i'm going to say uh normal not normal uh barrett i'm going to say uh addy equals and then the address of okay and then we do the same thing for the msr and then i'm going to say msr here okay now we need to make another one i'm going to say private void uh gun type I'm going to say if combo box 2.txt 
is, I'm going to say uh, normal. Then we're going to say gun equals, and then we're going to say the bytes. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing for the dark and the wireframe. Dark, wireframe. Let's see if this is done yet. Nope, it is not. So we're just going to keep on typing. In our item list, we need to go ahead and add the uh, strings that we just typed in. So remember, it was normal. Make sure you're spelling it with the same exact capitalization, everything. Normal, dark, and wireframe. Click OK. And then gun dress, we need to add the guns. We need to say uh, Barrett's. And we need to say MSI. And we can go ahead and make some comments here if you want to. So right here, we say enables wireframe. And right here, we can say disables wireframe. And what this does, this little green thing, um, it's pretty much things or text that you can read that won't be executed by the computer. Let's see if it's done yet. Okay, it is done. So now we're going to go to uh, X4B1 and we're going to generate, or we're going to pointer scan for the address. So use says pointer map and we say X4B1, since we are using the, the EB1 address. <laughs> then we add another one and we say X4B2 and we're going to use the X4B2 address. Okay, then click OK. And then we're gonna name it uh, wireframe Barrett. Okay. And then we need to do the same thing for uh, X for MSR. So we're gonna pointer scan for this address. You save pointer map, and then we say X for MSR. Compare results. And we say X for MSR2, and then X for MSR2. And then we're gonna say uh, a wireframe MSR. And while that's going, I'm gonna keep on coding. Actually, there isn't much to do really. Um, so for this, we're going to say this dot, and we're going to use these uh, pipe voids up here. So we have address and gun site. So say this type or this dot address. And we say uh, this dot and then type. Okay. And we say m dot write memory. This is going to be a blank. So we're going to say plus, and it's going to be the add address. So we're going to say addy, and the addy or the address is going to derive from this right here. And then it's going to be bytes, as we mentioned earlier. And then this is going to be blank as well, plus the gun type, aka gun. So the gun is going to derive from right, this right here. And add semicolons. Let's see if it's done yet. All right, so we have a bunch of pointers. So we're going to go ahead and add some uh, wireframe barrets. Some of these will always work, some of these will never work. Some of these will work sometimes, and some sometimes they won't. Since I added these, I'm going to say wireframe barrets. Now, bear in mind, the address is 18. Let's make sure that we keep that when we start our game. Let's add a few of these. I'm going to name this wireframe MSR. Okay. Start a game. And then we're going to re reconnect to the uh, process. And let's see if, uh, well, they all point to 18, or the value of 18. So that's pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and start the game. And we're just going to take the first one from each one. So this is four levels. So for the uh, enable wireframe right here, we're going to take this relative address, and we're going to take the offset as well. And it does give you a quotation mark, which is going to mess up your code, then delete that first quotation mark, and then we also need to add the pointers, 
So four, comma zero, comma thirty-eight, comma thirty-nine C. Okay, and then we can copy that for the rest of these, or not the rest of them, but you know the vast majority of them, for the bear at least. Right, and then we need to grab those four bytes. Now it, it points to a little bit before the X, so it's three bytes in front of the X, so it wouldn't be four bytes here. And uh, we're gonna add the bytes right here. Oops. Remember we said FF was uh, wireframe. Fifty-eight is the default value. Okay. Uh, dark was zero zero. Remember that. And the wireframe was FF. Okay. And then we do the same thing for the uh, MSR. We have a single level point here. Nice. So we'll take the relative address and the offset. And delete that quotation mark. A comma. And then D34. Okay. I'm going to copy that. And then we're going to add it. Actually. No, we aren't going to add it. Okay. Uh, the code should work now. See checkbox one. Uh, when you click it, it does wireframe. Disable it. It goes back to normal. Okay. Um, you need to select the gun dress first. So we're gonna say Barrett. We're gonna say dark. You can see it goes dark. Click wireframe. It doesn't do wireframe for some reason. Why is that? Wireframe is FF. Oh, I see why. I spell wireframe differently. Let's hot reload it. And try that one more time. There we go. And then normal. Lovely. Let's try the uh, MSR. Dark. Wireframe. Normal. And then we can change the end here. Uh, it's not writing. Why isn't it? Oh, I think I know why. Okay. You need to copy this address for the Barrett. How we load it and see if we can change it now. There we go. So you can go over the limit, make it invisible, whatever. Uh, this is just for custom ends, and that's how you do wireframe for IW5. Uh, this should apply for IW4 as well. Uh, if you have any questions, need help, all my links will or all my social will be linked in the description. And yeah, peace out.